Juan Carlos, could you explain to me what is the NIE? The NIE number. The NIE number is a tax identification number, uh, um, um, which uh, is necessary to complete uh, uh, transaction, legal transactions in Spain. So when you are buying a house uh, or a property, uh, it's necessary to you to be identified with the proper uh, document, which is this uh, this document, the NIE, which is obtained in the immigration office in Spain, in um, in uh, offices in the police office in the local police office of the area where the property is placed, but also can be obtained in the in the Spanish embassy or the Spanish consulates. Um, in, uh, outside of Spain, for example, in UK can be obtained in the in the uh, Spanish consulate in London. In um, in um, Belgium can be obtained in Brussels. In, in in France they can be obtained in any of the different uh, Spanish consulates which are in France, etc. So we always recommend our clients to obtain this document in the uh, in the Spanish consulate. It's more comfortable uh, um, obtaining it in uh, in Spain. Sometimes passed by never-ending queues. Uh, in the in the in the um, in the police office or in the immigration office, which sometimes is not comfortable, and it, it used to add some stress to our clients, which uh, which makes, as I say, uh, uh, uncomfortable or, or more uncomfortable the process. Um, it's, it's very important to note that uh, the uh, the NA number is important for British because when when a British uh, changes his pa his passport. Uh, the passport changes the number. So, uh, uh, so and, and also, it's extremely important also for uh, women because when they are married, they change also the uh, the name for the name of the of the husband. So, uh, changing in order to avoid this kind of confusions of identity is one of the one of the reasons why the Spanish system has created this mechanism to identify foreigners in Spain. And uh, what about the bank accounts? Is it necessary to open a, a bank account in, in Spain? It's extremely important. Uh, how, how is it done? Uh, the, before, it, I have to say that before it was easier than, than right now uh, uh, to open a bank account in Spain. Uh, we had uh, uh, experiences before where it was an easy process. You could open a bank account uh, while, you are, while you were in your country. But right now, it requires personal presence from the buyer directly to go to the office of the bank and to uh, and to make presence to make what we call a identity uh, to recognize the identity from the part of the of the staff of the bank. Who are you? Your signature uh, to uh, to provide determinate documents to demonstrate the origin of the funds that you are using to buy your property. Uh, so. So uh, it's quite complicated. Sometimes our clients they are they, they are not aware they have to do that when they visit to Spain and they don't realize that they have to visit again Spain to open the bank account. And uh, is uh, and one of the points is maybe you will ask me, but Juan Carlos, why is necessary to open a bank account in Spain? Usually, first because after completion, uh, the, all the payments for, for the for the property, the water, the electric, council tax. Uh, will be charged through direct debit directly to your bank account. But also because at the end of the process on completion, the vendor will require you to provide uh, a bank swap. And a bank swap from a Spanish bank. Uh, so you will need to provision your bank account in Spain with enough funds to uh, cover the amount of the rest of the price to be paid by bank swap because the vendor will require the last payment with Bankers Wealth from a Spanish bank. No? Therefore, Juan Carlos, you can say that once the buyers come to Spain to visit properties, mm -hmm. what are the steps, the three most important steps that we can do? Well, uh, as, I, as I'm commenting, the, f the first and the most important is uh, uh, getting the ANA number. Uh, Getting also uh, opening the bank account in Spain, this is quite important, uh, and also choose the right lawyer. So with this, uh, with these three points, I have to tell you that buying a house in Spain is secure. Uh, the system is uh, is a good system. We have our our laws, our regulations, but uh, contracting the proper lawyer, contracting the proper professional to get in you in the process will be the guarantee of success. So contact a lawyer.
this is very important. Um, well, uh, if you would like to get more information about our services, all of our staff is at your disposal. Uh, we have offices in Valencia, we, we have offices in Costa Blanca, Costa Blanca North, Costa Blanca South, uh, Murcia, but uh, we offer a wide range of uh, uh, services from uh, Catalonia till uh, Malaga. And uh, please don't forget that uh, in order to buy a house in Spain, it's quite important to raise the, the, the right professional and uh, all, all our qualified staff is uh, ready to attend you in English, in French, in German, and uh, the only thing that you have to do is to contact us. Our website is spanishsolicitors.com, also tlacorp.es. Thank you.